Now that does two things. One is it's actually working the rear tires harder, they lose a bit of grip, the back of the car will start to slide, getting it to go into the corner. But the other thing is they're doing less work on the front axle. So that means when you're not using them for braking, there's more of that grip available to turn the car. And, and that's quite, I mean, every car will use that as a technique. It's very, very powerful. The problem is if you do it too much, the back end starts coming round on you and you'll end up losing time having to brake early. They're both quite effective tools, but the issue with those switches on the dash, if there's a fundamental imbalance in the car, if you haven't got the car in the right place, the tires in the right place, you can't fix it with electronics. So speaking of things that we can affect during the race, one of them is, is the front wing flap angle. Um, it, it's almost always changed during pit stops when we're changing the tires. Why is that the case? The front wing is actually a really powerful tool for balancing the car because you can add a lot of vertical load on those front tires and you can make that front axle stronger to get the car towards oversteer or weaker to make it understeer. Now there's a number of reasons that they'll do that. If the driver actually got the balance wrong to start the race, let's say he was struggling with an understeer car, he's going to want to add front wing to try and get it more neutral or move it towards oversteer. But there's other factors with track temperature that make it quite useful. We need to really look again at the tyre and how the tyre will generate its peak grip as a function of the temperature it's operating at. Now, rubber will always have a sweet spot. So there's a temperature where it will generate the optimum grip. You hear a lot of drivers talking about overheating where it's too hot, or even talking about not being able to get the tires to work, which almost always means they're too cold. 